Good evening, good evening, good evening. What a blessed evening. It's about 10 o'clock at night, and I finally got here to be able to get this video out. Um, it is important that yeah, I get it out because someone's life is hanging in the balance. Someone's life depends on this video. I know that for sure. And so tonight, I come on here with the video. My name is uh, Pastor Merlin Boyd. And um, this ministry is called Nuggets for Life. I am the pastor of the Fresh Anointing Christian Fellowship Church. I am also a mentor and an encourager. My goal is to encourage any and everyone hurting, feeling low, feeling lost, or feeling like no one loved or no one cares. And so I come to tell you that Jesus cares. And so... On tonight, there is a word for the people of God. Or if you, even if you don't know God, there is a word. And God loves you. And he, he loves you so much that he told me to come on here and to encourage you and let you know that he loves you no matter what is going on in your life. In this life, we get stuck or comfortable doing the same old things day after day. Or we have been dealing with life's issues so long that we have decided this is my plot in life i have been dealt i have been dealt a bad hand all my friends have this and that and i have nothing only one with nothing i am the only one with nothing so i guess it's not for me to be healed delivered or set free no one will ever help me Fix my situation. And you know what? You're right. Only Jesus can help you fix your situation. Listen. The scripture will be coming from John 5, 1 through 15. We're not going to do the whole 15 verse. I'm just going to skip around. We're coming from the King James Version. And um, if I could just use a topic tonight, I would say, Do you want to be made well? How bad do you want it? The scripture comes from John 5, 1 through 15. The first verse. After this, there was a feast of Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem by the sheep gate a pool, which is called in Hebrew Bethesda, having five porches. In these porches lay a great multitude of sick folk. Blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. And then whoever stepped in first after the stirring of the water was made well of whatever disease he or she had. Now a certain man was there who had infirmity for 38 years. 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew he had already had been there for a, lo a long time and he had been in this condition for a long time, he said to him, do you want to be made well? Jesus knew the answer, but he wanted to see what he would say. The sick man answered him, sir, I have no man to put me into the pool. When the water stirred up, but while I am coming, another step down in before me. Jesus said, rise, take up your bed and walk. The ninth verse says, and immediately the man was made well, took up his bed and walked. But sometime later, Jesus sees the man in the temple and told him, in the 14th verse, he says, now you are well, so stop sinning or something even worse may happen to you. The man was forgiven by Jesus and healed. Sometimes sickness is related to sin. A certain time the angel would come with healing powers in the water and whoever get in first was healed. All Jewish males had to come to the Jerusalem festival, festival for three holy days. This was a miracle. After 38 years, this man's problem had become a way of life. He made excuses by saying, no one ever helped me. He had no hope of ever being healed. 
He had no desire to help himself. The man's situation looked hopeless. No matter how trapped we feel in our infirmities, God can minister to your deepest needs. Don't let the problem or the hardship cause you to lose hope. God may have special work for you to do in spite of your condition or even because of it. Many have ministered effectively to hurting people because they have triumphed over their own hurts. This sick man could have easily sat on the edge of the water. I've always thought, why did he just roll into the water? But he had gotten to the point where he was lazy about the matter. He didn't really care about anybody helping him in. He wanted people to help him in. He didn't really care about making his own moves. He, he evidently depended on people his whole life. For 38 years, he's been in this condition. And it, the scripture lets me know he's in, in this condition because of sin. Now, if you really want to be helped, all you have to do is find you a way how you can be helped by scooting. He could have scooted to the edge of the, of, the, of the pool and fell in the minute he saw this angel in the water, troubling this water. If you've been somewhere 38 years, a long time, you ought to have a plan by now of how to get out of a situation. But this man didn't even decide. He couldn't even think of a plan how he can get into that water. He wanted people to help him. He just had excuses after excuses. But while I am coming, another steps down before me. You should already be on the cor on the on the edge of it, so that when the water starts troubling, you just roll on in there. Sometimes we want people to help us out of our situation. We want people to fix things for us. We want people to come to our rescue. But baby, you got to get you got to make your own decision. You got to get up and do your own thing. You got to show that you are ready. That you want a different life. That you want a change in your life. You have to make that decision. And once you make that decision, Jesus will come along and help you. But you can't sit there 38 years thinking that somebody's going to come along and help you. You know what people decide? If they want to be like that, then guess what? I'm not helping them. They're not helping themselves. They don't care. So I'm not going to help them. And matter of fact, I didn't even know. I don't know how he got to the, 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 the pool every day. He was there every day for 38 years. And, and, and every season, because it said at a certain a certain time of the year, the water would be trouble. So I'm sure he knew the season that this angel would come. Well, if you know this angel was coming, you ought to be ready. We ought to be ready for our change. See, because we really don't want to change if we're not ready. If we're not trying to do something, then that means we don't want to change. Because when the water was stirred up, and he kept sitting there. Jesus knew he had been there 38 years. So Jesus said, I tell you what, rise up, take up your bed and walk. And immediately the man became well and he got up and he walked. He took his bed up and walked. His whole life was changed. You know what? And I, and I really believe that he probably didn't want to uh, really, he didn't want to walk because see, he was used to standing uh, uh, on the streets begging for how, how he could eat, begging money or whatever. Because that's what they did back then when they were when they were uh, had a, a disease or they were crippled or lame. They would beg for their living. And I believe this man thought, if I get healed, I, I'm going to have to go to work. I'm going to have to find another way of support. I'm going to have to find other means. So he wanted to stay in that position. But Jesus asked, that's why Jesus asked him, do you really want to be made whole? Uh, do you really? You've been in 38 years and there's no change? Have we been in sin for 38 years? Have we been in sin a long time? And God is waiting on us to decide, this is old, I'm coming out of this, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to get up and, and, and change my life. I'm going to get up and I'm going to go and, 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 and get me a job. I'm going to get up and I'm going to go get me a business. I'm going to get up and I'm going to go uh, open up some type of uh, uh, ministry. I, I, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting old. I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I've been in this place too long. So what? I'm sick. I'm going to take the sickness and I'm going to make something out of it. I'm going to make something out of my life. I'm going to get up. And maybe if I get up, somebody come along and help me. He wanted somebody to feel sorry for him. And so Jesus knew what was in his heart. So sometime later, he, Jesus sees him in the temple. And he says to him, 
Now you're healed. Now you're well. If you do something else, you keep sinning. A worse thing is going to come up on you. Some people are sick because they're sick. It's just a natural thing. It's, 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 it's what happened. But this man was sick because he sinned. So, if you're having issues because you have sinned, all you have to do is repent. And ask God to help you turn this thing around. Ask God to help you get into the water. Help you to get healed when you see the, the water's being troubled. You know how the water's troubled? The water's being troubled now because I'm only here talking to you. Now, now the water of, in the pool is being stirred up. Stirred up for your healing. You, you, the water's being troubled because you're hearing that you can be healed regardless of what's going on. So the water's being stirred right now. The deal is, is do you really want to be made whole? The water is being stirred right now because I'm telling you that Jesus said you can be healed. You are healed. Take up your bed and walk if you really want to be healed. Tonight is your miracle. This was a miracle. Tonight you can get a miracle. If you want to stop doing a thing, if you want to be healed from a bad relationship, if you've been in a, in a spousal uh, uh, abuse, you can be healed. Jesus is telling me to tell you, take up your bed and walk. And don't go back to that. Because if you go back to that, a worse thing is going to come upon you. You can be healed tonight. The water is being troubled tonight. And Jesus is saying you can come out of your situation. You've been there a long time. Dealing with people. That really don't care about you. Don't care about your interests. All they want to do is use you. You've been there for a long time. 38 years is a long time, saints. 38 years is a long time to be dealing with some stuff. Some situations that you really don't have to deal with. But because you've been there so long, and it's been going on so long, you have become acclimated to it. You think that's a part of your life. You think that's what God called you to do. You think God called you to get beat up. You think God called you to, to, be, to be thrown around and misused. You think God called you to live in a low state. You think God called you to be full of lack. He didn't call you to, to, for that. He loves you. He said, Beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. Jesus doesn't want us to be uh, uh, laying in a place for 38 years, hurting, full of pain, with no hope. He's telling you tonight, a miracle has come to your house. You can The, the pool is being stirred up right now. The angel of the Lord is in your pool right now. It's in the pool and you're right next to it. My question to you, do you really want to be made whole? Do you really want to be made whole? How bad do you want it? Sometimes, if you really want it bad, you got to leave some people. Sometimes, you got to leave a situation. Sometimes, you got to turn your children over to the Lord and let him handle them. You've been in this problem so long. And I hear somebody saying, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I hear somebody saying, enough is enough. I can't do this no more. And I hear somebody saying, the problem has gotten too hard for me. Well, sister, brother. The water is being troubled tonight. And Jesus told me to tell you. Take up your bed. And walk. It's simple as that. The water is being troubled. Right now. Get up. Take up your bed. <coughs> Excuse me. And walk. Leave that situation behind. Pick your clothes up. And walk. Pick up your, your love and walk. Pick up your joy. Pick your joy back up and walk. 
There's healing tonight. The water is being troubled. And it's troubled because I came and told you about it. And the angel of the Lord is giving you a chance to take up your bed and walk. Or he's, the angel of the Lord is giving you a chance to get into the water. Get into the water. And you know, water is a sign of, of, of the Holy Spirit. It says, out of my belly shall flow rivers of living water. Tonight you can be saved. Tonight you can be filled with the Holy Ghost. That's the water that you want to roll over into. And once you have been filled with the Holy Ghost, once you have gotten saved, Jesus is ready. And he's telling you, once you do that, take up your bed and walk. You are made whole already. Once you've given your life over to Christ. Once you've fallen into that water, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, salvation. Once you've fallen into that water, Jesus said to tell you, You have been made whole. Go and sin no more. Or a worse thing will come upon you. How bad do you want it? I love you. God loves you more. And I hope this has been a, a help to you tonight. I hope this has troubled your spirit to the point you're ready to get in the water. You're ready to take up your bed and walk. You're tired and sick and tired of going through the same thing over and over again. How bad do you want it? Good night.